We're starting week two of A Christmas Peace for Busy Moms by 25 Days of Bible Study. This is the audio version. I'm going to read the theme verse for week two, and then we're going to start on day six. The theme for week two is peace in my day. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. That's from Isaiah 26, verse 3. Day 6 is Peaceful First Light. Just a reminder, you can follow along by getting a hard copy of this book at sarahgeringer.com. The verse to start this day is Psalm 5, verse 3. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. What happens when you first wake up before your feet hit the floor? Do you hit the snooze button with a groan? Do you check your smartphone for any messages or emails? Do you begin the mental rundown of everything that must be done today? I think those responses resonate with most moms. The breakneck morning pace begins before we even get out of bed. I'm challenging you as I'm challenging myself this season to start the day off with God. Before you even open your eyes, will you offer a prayer of thanks for another day to serve God and enjoy his creation? Will you praise him as you brush your teeth and wash your face? Will you ask him for peace as you get dressed? Beginning the day with God will make all the difference between a peaceful season and a stressful season. It also prepares us to be better servants to our families because our hearts are set right straight away. For years, I beat myself up about a lack of regular quiet time. When my babies were nursing and I ran low on sleep, meeting God early in the morning was difficult. Also, I used to juggle time on the treadmill and time with God before my children got up. I had the desire to meet God first, but carrying it out was so challenging. Then I read a little booklet called My Heart, Christ's Home. This book painted the picture of Jesus waiting for me every morning. I imagined him sitting at my kitchen table. If I ran past him to eat, exercise, or clean the house, I tended to neglect quiet time with him the rest of the day. I began praying, God, please help me wake up and look forward to time just with you in the morning. When the alarm rang at 5.15 a.m. and I was tempted to rush, the Holy Spirit gently nudged, remember when you prayed about this? So I went straight to the kitchen table, opened my one-year Bible, and started reading while my cup of tea brewed. In these early morning meetings, I consistently hear God's messages louder than at any other time of day. His word comforts me. When I feel unappreciated, he used 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 26 to remind me of my worth. His word corrects me. When I feel tempted to gossip, he reminds me of Psalm 141 verse three. When I read the passage and asked him, to send, set a guard over my mouth. His word strengthens me. When I feel I can't give him any more, he brings 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 to my mind, and I turn to him for grace in my weakness. I use the rest of my morning prep time to pray. I pray aloud in the shower and on my commute to work after I drop my children off at school. I pray for his help and guidance for the rest of my day. I always feel better prepared for the day's stresses and more peaceful throughout my day when I've had that time alone with God first. This season, when I join him in the mornings, I will be praying for you every day. I'm praying for all of us will be filled with peace to carry us through our busy December days. So to get your questions for study and reflection for this day and all the others in this book, Head to sarahgeringer.com, get a signed copy from me through my Etsy shop, or go to my Amazon link 
to get a hard copy or the Kindle version.